is there any alternatives to using chlorine in my pool? So if chlorine's a bother, you just don't wanna use chlorine in your pool. Here's four different options. Check it out. One, you can use bromine. Now bromine is common in indoor pools and the reason it's common is because it doesn't give off that quote unquote chlorine smell, even though bromine and chlorine are part of the same halogen family, they're cousins. Bromine works very similar to chlorine, but it just doesn't have that chlorine smell. Another chemical you can use is called PHMB or Bacquasil, and that's the brand name. There's also a brand called Soft Swim made by BioGuard. Both of these are a like peroxide based sanitizer and it's completely liquid. So unlike chlorine and bromine, which come in powder or tablet form, uh, Bacquasil and Soft Swim and these brands come in all liquid form. And they have their own special shock, they have their own special sanitizer, and they even sell their own special algicides and clarifiers specifically to use with that system. But once you go through that system, you're kind of locked into it. You can't switch back and forth to chlorine and Bacquasil. You're kind of locked into that. And it definitely is more expensive, but the reason why it's called Soft Swim for that particular product is because it's softer on the skin. It's, it's softer water, it just feels better to swim in, and you're not using chlorine. Real quick before we continue, if you're looking for an easy to follow tutorial that'll answer all your pool questions, go check out our pool care handbook and video course. You'll get over 30 in-depth video lessons and a step-by-step -step downloadable guide covering everything you need to know about pool maintenance. It's packed with money-saving tips so you can save money and time keeping your swimming pool clean. This is the ultimate manual for every type of pool, including in-ground, above-ground, and in-text blow-up pools. And the best part is we always keep it up to date, so once you buy it, you have access to the latest and greatest version for life. So because you're watching this video, you can go to swimuniversity.com slash pool and use the promo code video. The third option is using an ozonator. And this process inserts ozone gas into the pool. And this gas then reacts with any impurities it comes in contact with in your pool. And this reaction then cleans the pool and makes it water perfectly safe for swimming. Now there's two different types of ozonators you can get. You can get a Corona Discharge, which uses an electrical arc to create ozone inside the generator to kill the pathogens inside the filter system itself. Or you can use UV light, which are special lamps installed on the water return lines that kill all the nastiness that comes in your water before returning to the pool. This can be a little bit costly because you have to actually install products on your filter system, real hardware, and they're not uh, chemical based. I'm about to mention mineral sanitizers and I'm not gonna mention salt water because technically a salt water pool is chlorine. It's not an alternative to chlorine. It's just an alternative way to add chlorine to your pool. So in case you were wondering, salt is not a part of this. But number four is mineral sanitizers. And, and I kept this one for last because it's not really an alternative, it's sort of a supplement. So mineral sanitizers add, you know, minerals like silver and copper to your water, which can actually kill bacteria. The, the only problem is, is that it, it may not kill all the bacteria. It may not kill all of the pathogens living in your pool. This does require a little bit of chlorine, but in a normal chlorine pool, you wanna keep your chlorine level at around three parts per million which doesn't sound like that much, but it, it is pretty high. But if you're using a mineral sanitizer to mainly sanitize the pool, you still have to add a little bit of chlorine as a backup system, but you only have to keep 0.5 parts per million. So the chlorine is so, so much lower, but just like a ozonator, it does require hardware and it does require uh, mineral cartridges that need to be replaced every single year. So those are the four chlorine alternatives that we recommend here at Swim University. If there's a pool care topic you'd like us to cover in a future video, please leave a comment to let us know. And hit the like button below if you found this video helpful. If you wanna learn more about pool maintenance and troubleshooting, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And check out the pool care handbook and video course at swimuniversity.com slash pool. Don't forget to enter the promo code video to get 10% off. That's it. Thanks again and happy swimming.